Yo, this is Deontay DeBron from a while, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. And I'd like to give a big shout out to CJ Goodfellow from Sports TV. Bomb Squad, baby. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. What's that idiot? It was just a guy that was on like, go unsubscribe to him. Um, I know blue he just had on a hat. Boxing, blue boxing, blue. B&B, something. Blood, blue blood boxing or something. Unsubscribe to him, he don't know shit. Nigga stupid, don't know shit. Tell him fuck him. Tell him if y'all see him, I'll smack him in the mouth. Whatever he want. I, I, I said, whatever. I said, nigga sucks. Unsubscribe to him, he's trash. But anyway, so it's fine. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Sit down, be quiet, and go to sleep. Go to sleep. My man, Alexander Sasha Pavekin, put Bum Dilly and White to sleep. Let's talk about it. We back. Good fella sports TDB on this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Saturday afternoon and live from the United States, Detroit, Michigan. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video, and hey, it was a good fight, okay? Beautiful setup by the Hearn. I didn't watch no fight but the main event. And um, let's kind of talk about the fight real quick. Okay, Bob. All right, that came to the ring, uh, you know, playing Caroline. Sweet Caroline. I'm so tired of that damn song. And uh, they got in the ring. And Pavekin had won the first round, in my opinion. Um, you know, he just was landing the more effective shots. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, you know, Dillian White seemed like he pretty much was a uh, – you know, trying to fill him out, and usually the first round is a fill out, uh, you know, um, round. But it seemed like Pavekin had a nice little game plan. He landed some, he landed some right hands, and he was looking for his left hook, but his overhand right was pretty was pretty good. But it seemed like Dillian White was aware of it. He was picking his hands up to block that shot. Um, second round, I gave it to Dillian White. He landed some really good body shots. I think it was a good left hook to the body. He was putting water in the basement. And both of them would seem to be off balance. And Dillian White kind of do that to you because he's a sloppy-ass fighter. And Dillian White was turning and he was pivoting off of those left hooks to the body. And I don't think Pavekin was prepared for it. And Pavekin was was off balance when he pivoted. And he really didn't have no balance. And Dillian White, you know, didn't have no balance. But he was in better position to punch. And Pavekin would have to reset. And uh, pretty much they did it again. And, you know, White just landed enough punches. And White kind of looked good technically. Um... You know, whatever he did in training camp, physically, he looked better than he, he did versus Watt. But technically, you know, his jab was really good tonight, all right? But uh, you get into the third round, um, I gave it to Bavekian. Even though uh, White landed some really good body shots again in that third round, I gave it to Bavekian. I think, uh, just think, I just think Bavekian edged it. I mean, if you want to say Dillian White got it, I mean, I'm not going to argue. But I thought Bavekian just did enough work, and he was more active upstairs. And then... The fourth round is where some of that magic happened, all right? And um, that magic was, you know, Dillian White, you know, dropped Pavekin twice. The first time, they got into one of those nasty exchanges. Once again, Pavekin was off balance. This time, Dillian White kept his pivot tight. You know what I'm saying? When he turned, he was in better position to land this time. Another time when he turned early in the rounds, he was, he was too far away from Pavekin. Pavekin kind of stumbled out of the punching area. And, and Pavekin got an opportunity to reset before Dillian White reflexes jumped on him. This time, you know, when Pavekin reset, when Pavekin turned, you know, Dillian White was in position to, you know, closer position to, to land fire. He was winning the exchange. Pavekin kind of turned again. And then next thing you know, Pavekin was out of position. He was already, like, bending at the knees. And uh, Dillian White landed the shot. And, his, you know, his, his glove or knee touched the canvas. And he was trying to exchange with the dude who was in better position to land. And, you know, the younger guy who had faster hands tonight. And, you know, that's what happened in there. And then later in the round, he dropped him again with another. I can't remember how he dropped him, but he dropped him again later in that round. And um, I was looking for, and going into the fifth, I was looking for Dillian White to really, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't sure if he was going to close the show. But I was looking forward to him really putting some distance and doubt in the Alexander Pavek in mind. Because Dillian White wasn't really even breathing hard. Pavekin was breathing hard, mouth open. It seemed like he was going to go for broke, like the commentator said on Sky, even though Sky was syndicated, I think, through the zone tonight or whatever you want to call it. And, and um, you know, it was an uppercut, man. Dillian White was out of position. I think he had threw a punch. 
And he threw another punch and missed. Pavekin slipped. And instead of coming up with the left hook or coming over the top with the left hook, you know, basically Dillian White walked into an uppercut. Now, I don't know how many uppercuts, you know, Pavekin known to throw, but the uh, uppercut is one of the most unappreciated, underrated, and probably the best knockout punch you could find. You know, I love me an uppercut, and pretty much Dillian White rolled or he he, he rolled right into an uppercut, you know, because he had punched. And then he tried to come back. Pavekin kept it tight this time. This time, Dillian White back on the ropes. He off balance because he I think he, he threw some type of punch. Then he tried to come back with a punch. And what Dillian White known to do is kind of dip down, right? He dipped down and, you know, Pavekin was like, let do it. He was like, Pff. and he was asleep. He was asleep. What Ludacris say? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Be quiet and go to sleep. Put him to sleep. He gave him that Z. He gave him that melatonin. He gave him that night quill. He gave him that Advil PM. And that's all he wrote. Dillian White didn't know where he at. And that's what his whole ass get. That's what he get. All these people talking about Dillian White. But I'm going to get to that point. I I'm going to get to that. But tonight... Dillian White looked better than he had. His jab looked pretty good. Technically, his hands was up. Um, you know, he took his time, you know. But then again, you can't fix everything going to Portugal. You can't fix everything in one fight camp, one quarantine period, one pandemic, one epidemic, whatever. Dillian White downfall is he likes to punch and, and off balance. Dillian White is sloppy. He punches off balance, and the difference between him and Wilder, Wilder got the height and reach to get away with it. Dillian White just had to fight a semi-live opponent where he couldn't get away with it. He always throws himself out of position, and then he'll punch himself back out of position. You know, even worse position. That's what happened today. He threw a punch on the ropes where he couldn't lean back no more. He threw another punch. Chin rolled down. Pavekin was ready for it, but overall, he fought a disciplined fight tonight, man. You know, his body punches was pretty good. He was turning off the body punches. Uh, Pavekin was off balance. His hand speed was there. Um, his hands was up. Even the, the right hands and left hooks, Pavekin was landing. Dillian White was catching him a little bit, especially the right hands. And Dillian White looked half decent tonight, to be honest. He came prepared. He wasn't breathing hard like Alexander Pavekin. Pavekin just put his thunder uh, pants on. And pull his draws on, and he said, I was going to go for broke. Because you can look at his, his commentator call. He's like, we got to wonder if Pavekin's going to go for broke here. Because he was running out of gas. And ultimately, you know, he pressed the right button. You know, uh, that was that was a perfectly timed uppercut. Dillian White walked right into that uppercut, and he went to sleep. And, and that's what he get because he's a, he's a mark. I've been telling you all this. This is what you get when you go around and being phony. You ain't got to breathe in religion. You ain't got to breathe in God. You ain't got to believe in a higher being. We all believe in karma, good and bad. And when you do all that sucker stuff that he did in his career, ducking title eliminators, front like he the mandatory because he number one. Anybody that know the WBC bylaws, number one does not mean you the mandatory. And this is what he get with his punk ass, man. I was so happy to see him get slapped. I don't want to hear nothing from him. You know what I'm saying? He's a bum. He's garbage. You know what I'm saying? All the times that he could have fought Brazil to got a shot at Wilder or teased multiple times at a shot at Wilder, you see why he was bum bashing. He turned down Anthony Joshua three title fight. That's why Miller got the fight and Andrew Ruiz eventually got the fight because Dillian White turned down the fight. That's what he get. I'm happy because that's what should happen to, to dudes in boxing that's fake. And that's just let you know all the signs is there. Two-time pay defender. Let's just use allegedly, all right? Two-time pair defender, right? That's fact. You know what I'm saying? A dude that dug multiple title eliminators to fight Lucas Brown, to fight Joseph Parker, to rematch with Derek Chisora, I think on the same day when he called and fought Dominic Brazil in the Wilder Fury 2 undercard. That's what he get, bro. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, you reap what you sow. That's one thing we know about this world. You know what I'm saying? You might get away with it for a day, a year, 10 years. Eventually, it's going to happen. And he deserved it, bro. If anybody deserved to get slapped, it was Dillian White playing the boxing politics, acting fake as hell. He should be banned for boxing. We could say the same thing about Alexander Pavekin, but it's all good and gravy. Pavekin did what he had to do. I know people that put money on Pavekin, I should have. It's probably Jubilee right now. And you should be, bro, because Dillian White was everything was wrong with boxing. 
using boxing politics, crying, waiting out for a title eliminator, not being a go-getter. Now he can go hug up with his lover, Dean. They ain't even his brother. That nigga that be busting his back down. You know what I'm saying? But glad he got slept. Hopefully he okay. I obviously don't care the fuck if he okay. Because I'm tired of whole niggas in boxing. You can have one little whole nigga, you know, every three, four divisions, two little Douglas. No, nah, man, all these dudes need to get dealt with that's playing boxing politics and that's fraudulent, bro. And I said what I said, and I'm happy he went to sleep. I'm happy he took that nap. I'm happy he laid down for a minute. I'm happy he slept down and slept on his neck for a minute. Appreciate Pavekin. You know, at the end of the day, Pavekin, you going into the Goodfellas Sports TV Hall of Fame. Let's congratulate Pavekin in there. He in there with a whole bunch of other great fighters that deserve to be in there. But this is the first verbally fighter I'm going to put in the Goodfellas Sports T Hall of Fame for, for handling his business. Appreciate you, Pavekin. We know we we old heads up again. Last year, the old heads was beating the young guys. The old heads up again. Shout out to the old heads. Shout out to Sasha Alexander Pavekin for turning off. Turn off the lights. Hey, light a candle. Hopefully, Dillian White don't make another dime in boxing again. But pulling all that whole shit. UK fans, once again, another one of y'all fighters. Dick in the dirt in Eddie Hearn backyard. He can go back to the Slave Masters headquarters. Dillian White out the way. Get him up out of here. Put him in a body bag. He got he cherry picked the old man and went to sleep. He gone. He gone. He slept. He sleep. He down. Put him down like a thief in the night. Y'all know what it is. Good fellow sports TV. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. But um also got a Facebook group. Want to make a donation? Cash app, PayPal in the description. Best way to donate is to share, share the video. Cash app, CJ Good313. PayPal link in the description. If you use my prediction. And you got paid, send me something, a dollar, five dollars. Just send me a thank you letter or something, bro. Because I knew Pavekin was going to handle his business tonight. That's what Pavekin did. One time for the old heads again. Old heads just whipping that ass. Pacquiao, John Pascal. They just, they just oops up, side your head. I say, oops up, side your head. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, I'm glad Dillian White with D. Oh no, I got to I got to get my lover off the canvas. Eddie let me go. I can't believe he knocked out my boyfriend Dillian White. I can't believe it. He went to sleep. I know AJ ringside. Ho 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 ho. Ho ho ho. Yeah. That's what you get for ducking me and getting me knocked out by Andy Ruiz, you joker. You know, good man. I'm so happy Dillian White got beat, man. I wish, I wish they would have stumped his ass, too. Some, just somebody would have stumped the boxing guys. Just came down. Stump, stump, stump his head, man. That's for having them bad haircuts. That's for playing politics. That's for fake cloud chasing off Deontay Wilder name. That's for, you know, that's for everything. That's for looking for how you look. That, that's for Eric. Shout out to Pavekin, man. Pavekin in the Hall of Fame, man. We gone.